Hello there, welcome to the Mando World and welcome to this episode of Baby Steps to Getting Close to God. Uh, last time we talked about our identity, the first line of the Lord's message, uh, sorry, of the Lord's prayer to his disciples. So today we are talking about the second line, hallowed be your name, hallowed be thy name, which is worship. What is worship? Worshiping God is not only putting on the music and be in that mood and raise up your hands, worship that the slow, you know, songs and gospel music and that is not worship, like true worship. The worship is a way of life. It is a lifestyle. The way you live shows how we worship. It is worship. How we live life determines how we worship God. And, um, you know, I can say worship is reverencing God. Reverencing means, reverence means deep respect for God. I can say, yeah, deep respect for God. So reverencing God, again, is connected to doing the will of God. When you have deep respect for God, you do his will. So doing God's will should be a lifestyle of every Christian believer. What is true worship? Worship is not how sometimes we take it to be. Be in a church setting, put on some music, you know, touch the piano, then play some songs, and we raise our hands, some have tears flowing, yes, that is worship too, and then get done in a certain period of time. That is not the description of worship. Worship is a lifestyle. The way you live your life shows the way you worship God, if you do or if you do not. So true worship is from the heart. John chapter 4 verse 24 says, God is a spirit. And so he wants those who worship him to do so in spirit and in truth. It is not in a truth and a spirit. No, that truth, spirit comes first. He wants those who worship him to worship him in spirit and in truth. Which means you cannot get to truth without the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the most important aspect in worship. Because nobody gets to Jesus like we go to God the Father through Jesus Christ. We only get to Jesus through the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is our comforter, our teacher, the one who reminds us of everything. So he teaches us. So he is the one who leads us to Jesus Christ. So Holy Spirit is the only one who knows how to pray. Because he knows the heart of God. Because he is one with him. So that's why God wants us to pray in spirit and in truth. So when we allow the Holy Spirit to read, that's when he leads us to truth. So that is true worship. Uh, true worship comes from God. We can read that in um, Hebrews chapter 12. Hebrews 12 verse 28 it says therefore since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken let us be thankful and so worship god acceptably with reverence and awe for our god is a consuming fire therefore since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken let us be thankful and so worship god acceptably with reverence and awe for our God is a consuming fire. Oh, I can um, define that as uh, 
reverential respect for God mixed with fear. Yeah, mixed with fear. You know, we should, the word of God says that we should tremble before God. Tremble at his word. So, worship is a lifestyle like we have had. It depends on how I'm losing it. 